Hey guys, it's Rob with the Barbecue Pit Dog Channel. Hey, today I'm going to cook some beef chuck short ribs on the pit barrel cooker. I got the pit barrel cooker fired up back there, and I've uh, decided to rub them down a little bit with some Sang's stir fry oil, which is infused with garlic. You've seen me use that before, I'm sure, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then I seasoned them up with the pit barrel cooker beef and game seasoning rub. Um, it's very good. I have not found any other seasonings that are better, actually, than the pit barrel cooker seasonings. I'm sure there's some out there. Maybe I just haven't tried them yet. I'm actually trying some new ones here on my offset smoker right now. So, but that's a whole nother story. Whole nother video, I hope. We'll see how that turns out. But anyway, hang on, check this out. I'm going to hang those ribs on the pit barrel cooker. I don't know how long they're going to take because I've never cooked them. We're just going to hang them on there and let them go a couple hours. I may try to cook them like a pork rib. Uh, hang them for a while, maybe even wrap them. Put a little, uh, some kind of fluid in there with them when I wrap them. I don't know, we'll see. We'll get them up to temperature. I'll put all the information at the bottom of the screen for you. And we'll just see how it goes. So. This is kind of like a uh, test cook on the pit barrel cooker for me. So, hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, I hope you give me a like. Hope you tell your friends to come and check out the barbecue pit dog. So, sit back, grab you something cold to drink, and hang on, because here we go. <music> Hey, I just want to show you while the beef ribs are cooking. I'm doing a test run on the new offset smoker. Trying out a couple new rubs. See them running about 230, 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's open this up, see what it looks like. I got some a pork butt and some chicken leg quarters. Get a little spray about that time. You see my water pan, it's a little big for <laughs> the smoker, but it's all I had at the time. And I got my pretty little uh, dollar store squirt bottle. So, just giving her a test run. Also, trying out two new rubs, which if I like them, I'll be sure to let you know about. But just wanted to show you. Two hours on the pit barrel cooker for the beef ribs. I pulled them off. I just kind of let them set in a bowl, put some aluminum foil on them. Man, these look good. I'll be honest with you. I already tried one in the house. They have the pit barrel cooker beef and game seasoning on them. They're not burnt. That's that seasoning on there. I'm about to give it a taste test. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. These are better than any steak I've ever had. And I'm not bragging. Just so much beefy flavor. I'm gonna take another bite. I'm serious. That's the best beef I've ever tried, ever. It's got the Flintstone bone. Oh my goodness. A beef and game rub from the Pit Barrel Company. This is, this is very good. Two hours on the Pit Barrel cooker. And then I took it off, let it rest for one hour on the, uh, or just in a bowl with some Luna foil on it. It cooked up to right under 200 degrees, which I don't know, I'm not a Texas boy, I'm not from Texas. I don't know if that's the right temperature or not, but let me tell you what, these are good. These are very good. And the smaller they are, the more tender they are. This is the big one. I like it like this. It's got a ton of flavor. It's so delicious. So get you some beef ribs, put them on your pit barrel cooker or on your grill, cook them offset, and I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. I live in a military town, so. There goes two F-18s. Get you some of these, these beef ribs, beef. <laughs> Beef ribs are delicious, especially on the pit barrel cooker. That's the sound of freedom right there. So, hey, I'll tell you what, next time, hopefully we'll cook something, I don't know, we'll cook something good. But until then, go make you some of these ribs. Hope you have a good day. And y'all take care. We'll see you.